Solomon was providing nuggets of wisdom that I believe every single human being needs to grasp because it's going to affect some part of your life. And one thing I love about the Proverbs is that they're so real and practical. We're actually taking the time to go through this first uh, chapter of Proverbs and look at what Solomon was actually dealing with and what he was talking to us about and how it affects our lives in very specific ways. The life of the believers, the reason why we are believers in following hard after the Lord is not for prosperity and fame. Unfortunately, here in America, that is the deep-seated motivation for many believers. They are after money and fame and prosperity. Their heart is not following hard after thee, the psalmist said. They really, it really is about if whether I'm successful or not. And the moment I perceive that I'm not having any more success, I'm out of here. And so that church in Haiti was a perfect demonstration of we are in the midst of great devastation right now, and I'm going to worship God. King David experienced the same thing when he was praying for his baby that was born out of his adulterous relationship with Bathsheba. And he was praying and fasting and he wanted this child to live. Because you pray all kinds of stuff. You know, God, it's my fault. Please don't punish the child because of me. But God, had all, they already sent the prophetic word that the child was not going to live. But David fasted and prayed anyway because he said, just maybe. But when God allowed the child to die anyway, the Bible says that David worshipped. He didn't throw a tantrum on God. I attack, I pay, you should have done it. Ah, it wasn't a child's fault. I did it. I told you it was my fault. Ah, he just worship. I worship. That, that's, that's what the life of following Jesus really is. It's I worship you. No matter what, I'm pursuing you. No matter what, I really do want you, not just my will. I want you. I want you. Big difference, isn't it, y'all?